Hey guys, welcome back to the Instagram API series. In today's video, we're going to be going over how to take your API calls and put them on the web page. And so we're going to be doing that with Lucas's instagrid.css. And uh, thank you, shout out to Lucas. He made this very easy for us. And definitely go check out and read into the code if you want to look at how he did it. But uh, um, it's in his GitHub. He's, uh, he's sharing this, and so go ahead and download or clone it, and you're going to get something that looks like this. Um, I already opened it up. If we take a look at what the index looks like already, um, this is what it looks like. He has a bunch of stuff in here, and this is pretty much his Instagram, um, his last 20 photos. And we are able to see that because he is making public his access token and his user ID. And so we're going to change that information to our information and see... Um, what we can do with it. Maybe we can do some other other uh, API calls with it too. So let's grab our access token, paste that right in there, paste it. Uh, we're going to change our user ID and let's refresh this and boom, this is now my Instagram, the last 20. And so this App Academy is the last one. Uh, rest of it is right here. And so Let's take a look at some of the other calls we can do. Uh, I know there's a limit, 69 here, but this is kind of dated. We cannot, we can no longer, um, or at least in the sandbox mode, you can't. In the regular mode, you can't. And so we're going to ignore that field. We're going to also drop that down. And so let's see. A couple of things we can do is we could look at tagged photos. And so um, let's remember how we did that. Um, tags okay and um, I also want to point out this uh, Stevens uh, github he has an instafeed.js and though we're not using that today it's very similar and uh, I like to come to his readme because it's really well documented and we can really um, take a look at what we want to see here and so uh, we want to get tagged, we want to get tag name. It, it just kind of shows us what we have to do. Um, if you want to use tag name, use with get tagged. And so let's do that. Instead of get user, we're going to do get tagged. And um, let's see. It was tag name. Tag name. And let's use JavaScript because we know that one works. So uh, the rest is still the same. Um, how about refresh this, see what happens. And so look, all the ones with JavaScript in it, um, we could change that to something like SF. I think I have a couple of photos that are still in there. Cool, and so those are all the SF photos. Um, yes, and so that is pretty much it. No matter how much you tag, um, say you look for something that you don't, you never tagged within your last 20 photos, it's not going to happen because that API call is not working. And so if you want to do something like that, you definitely need to get out of sandbox mode. You need to get into the live mode. But other than that, um, I think this Instagrid is a great start for kind of figuring out how you get your API uh, calls onto the web page. Um, I would suggest going in and looking at um, uh, this script here. And if you want to put the script in a different file and uh, open it up on the web page, you could always uh, pretty print it. So it'll be a lot easier to take a look at. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, this is how the API call turns into JavaScript. And uh, if you don't want to use Instagrid, you could definitely use Stevens. And I know he has a, he has a NPM, NPM and stuff. He has NPM, Bower all this installation stuff. He even has the InstaFeed um, in a raw file, so you could just copy paste it into an InstaFeed min. Um, I did try using this one before, and it was a little more difficult than InstaGrid, uh, simply because uh, Lucas just had it all done for you. Um, but uh, take your choice. Uh, I think the main, main uh, shackles here is definitely the 20 pictures of yourself, uh, of, your, of your 20 photos that belong to you, but you get the idea. That is how you, or this is how you go through the Instagram API. Um, we went over some of the limitations. Uh, we went over how to do post, get, uh, delete requests. And so hopefully this was useful to you. 
and um, hopefully Instagram updates their rules. Uh, we'll see. Thank you for uh, going through these three videos with me. Goodbye.